Hey what's up guys, Aurelia Sun here with yet another video and in this video we shall be talking about the Samsung Galaxy A50. It is the latest device from Samsung and undoubtedly it is one of the most beautiful looking mid-range devices and kicking things from the design you can see on the back there is the logo, the triple camera, the gradient look and a flash. It is really beautiful, the gradient packs tons of color and it is just like a rainbow. On the right side of the phone you get to see a power button as well as the volume keys. On the left side of the phone you get to see a SIM ejection panel, top there is a notch and on the bottom and on the bottom you get to see a USB type-c port with a headphone jack and the speaker grill the speaker quality I was very spectacle about and it is very fine you can see Yes, right, there is a fingerprint sensor underneath the glass and it is an optical one, not an ultrasonic one you see in the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and it is really slow and buggy, sometimes it doesn't even work so I would suggest you to better uh, use face unlock or maybe use a pattern or a pin or password because the face unlock is a lot better than I was thought and it is really fast and secure and better than the in-display fingerprint sensor. The screen on the front looks beautiful, it is a full HD plus display and 6.18 inches with a notch. And the top bezel is really thin as well as the bottom bezel is really thin. Now talking about the software, it is the best feature of the phone as it has the Android One UI which is a really refined version and it is currently on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the flagship devices. It works really well, interacting as well and it is a lot better than what Samsung used to be. So it is the best UI in terms of customization as well as performance and it is not a heavy one. Coming to the performance of the phone, it is one of the key highlights of this mid-range phone. The phones are getting better and better and this one rocks an Exynos 9610 chipset which is a really good chipset for gaming, the frame rate was smoother and the interacting was good as well. Everything looks smooth and really good. The HDR works with ultra graphic settings and it is really working fine. Now let's talk about the main and perfect highlight of this phone. This phone has three cameras on its back and it produces really good low light images and daylight images as well. It has really good dynamic range as well which I didn't expect and in the low light this phone is a beast. It has triple camera setup 25 megapixel f1.7 pixel dual autofocus which is the best autofocus you can get on the market right now. It has a 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor which has 12 millimeter of ultra wideness and a 5 megapixel of f2.2 depth sensor on the front and you get to see a 25 megapixel f2.0 and it also has hdr the video is limited to 1080p which is really sad and i wish it has 4k or at least 1080 60. overall this phone looks really fine and i would really suggest you to go with this one Surprisingly, Samsung has improved a lot as a company in terms of mid-range phones and also in terms of flagship phones. If you want the best performance and a really good camera in a mid-range phone and also a really good design, then this phone doesn't lack a lot. This is really good phone and you should go for it. And if you are wondering about battery life, you don't need to worry about it. It got 4000 mAh of battery cell with fast charging of 15 watt. So it is fast and this is Razor Sun and I'm signing out. Peace out.